So something that surprised a lot of people with Apple's latest MacBook Pro was the fact that there are so many customization options. One of the questions that a lot of people might be wondering when they are purchasing a new 2021 MacBook Pro is if 16 gigs of RAM is enough. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience using 16 gigs of RAM on the base model 14 inch MacBook Pro, and if I think that it is enough. Spoiler alert, it is, but let's talk about why. Last year, Apple released the M1 MacBook Pro and the M1 Air, and of course the M1 Mini. Now an option for that one was to have eight gigs of RAM, and a lot of people at that time had the same question, is eight gigs of RAM enough? And at that time, I said it was. And not only did I say that, but I showed with my actions. I bought a base model MacBook Air, which I really love that computer and I do miss it. I sold it, it's gone now. That computer was a beast and I used it for making all of the content that you guys saw over the last year. I shoot only 4K footage. I do videos that range from five minutes to 10 minutes, and those were all edited in Final Cut Pro. I didn't really have much of a problem, except one time, which I'll talk about at the end of the video, but in general, for like 95% of the time, I did not feel that I needed more space on my M1 MacBook Air. And that is because with the new M1 chips, Apple has made them really, 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 really RAM efficient. So in the past, the thing was to get the most RAM that you can get, especially if you are a video editor. And that made total sense because they were using Intel-based chips in their computers. However, when Apple switched to their M whatever chips, whether it's the M1, the M1 Pro, M1 Max, those chips are way more RAM efficient. You can do more with less RAM. So now let's get back to 2021. I bought the 16 gig base model, 14 inch MacBook Pro. And like the last year's computer, that computer is a beast. I'm able to export around 50 high quality photos in less than two minutes. I can export five to 10 minute 4K videos in less than six minutes. I can have over 20 tabs open in Google Chrome, which is mad RAM heavy. And I still don't see the beach ball of death. So for me, definitely 16 gigs is enough. I edit around maybe two to three 4K videos a week. And on a weekly basis, I import or export around 500 photos, give or take, uh, into Adobe Lightroom. And I also use the MacBook Pro for doing other things like web browsing, editing my thumbnails for YouTube, uh, having a bunch of tabs open when I'm doing research for videos. And again, no beach ball of death here. 16 gigs was enough. So let's get into the time where I felt like I didn't have enough RAM. And to clarify, I'm not talking about the 16 gigs of RAM, I'm talking about last year's eight gigs of RAM, but it might still apply depending on your usage. Last year I was working with an artist that was very hands-on. We were in her kitchen at her house editing the video shot for shot and I liked the process, it went really well. However, I don't know what happened, but typically speaking, I edit videos off of a solid state drive and not my internal storage space. But that day I just was, I don't know what happened. But if you edit videos in Final Cut Pro, you definitely know that those library files can be huge. I'm talking like up to 500 gigs sometimes. And what happened was the RAM is able to take up storage space when you utilize the RAM to its full potential. There was no more storage space because I was editing internally. If you are gonna go with the base model RAM and you're gonna also edit videos on your computer locally, then you're definitely gonna want to get more RAM or more storage space. That way they're not really clashing. That has not happened with the 16 inch MacBook Pro, mostly because I do edit on a solid state drive. Who is it not for? And to answer that question, I'd most likely say that the 16 gigs of RAM is good for a lot of people, except if you are somebody that is really about this video editing life. I'm talking about people that those extra seconds that it takes to export a video adds up because you have a high paying client that has no patience and is waiting for these videos to come out. If you're supposed to have a quick turnaround time, these extra seconds that you gain by getting more RAM is definitely worth it. But for everybody else, including small YouTubers, programmers, people that do coding, anything, it doesn't really matter. You should be okay with 16 gigs of RAM, probably not gonna need much more as you did in the past. But that'll be it guys. Let me know your questions down below and before before I forget, if your name is on the screen somewhere, that means that you won the $25 Amazon giveaway. Congratulations. If you didn't win, don't worry about it. Still subscribe. I'm doing this one more time. I'm going to announce it by the end of the year. So make sure to be subscribed. Comment down below. You can ask a question about RAM. You can just comment about my hair. You can just comment about whatever. It doesn't matter. Just do it and I appreciate it. So I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.